happened? Was um, there any conflict during the recording between you two? Um, I have the opinion? fights all the time. You know, yeah. Shoot, shooting. Because we're in LA, they're like, I'm going to go over to our brother. If I go over and their gun, you make a deal, you've got to put your gun on the board you know, before you start working. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Yeah. Oh, he cracks me up all no, the time. So, no, so. We, I mean, I, I can't remember any conflict. As a matter of yeah. fact, I, I think that the mutual respect is uh, vital. Right. Uh, you right. can't feel like um, it was funny actually hearing the, the idea of like somebody being a yes man. We are surrounded yeah. by people who, when they give their opinions, we have to think twice about what their real agenda right. is, right. whether being honest with us or mm -hmm. not. In our careers, it's that way with the people who work at the record companies, people who are on tour with you, you know. But there are certain people who, when you, you have a lot of respect for them, you want nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. You need the truth from them. They're the people who you go to for, it's like a cup of truth, you know, yeah. a taste of truth, to either validate something you feel mm -hmm. um, or to call you out when maybe you're not getting something exactly right. Maybe there's a reason that you did have a conflict with somebody else over something. And the truth becomes a, a valuable kind of mirror, you know, that you get to look into. And, um, and people you respect will give you that. And you will, you, the amount of respect you have for them will increase because they gave you the truth. Not necessarily what you want to hear, yeah. um, but it makes you better. Yep. It makes you a better singer, it makes you a better artist. Very true. Better person. That's how I feel. We're, we, we always, whatever we talk about, this is an under, it's like the subtext underneath everything with the two of us. This is constant. This is since the second I met her. This is the way it's been, except for the last. So sometimes when we. When we start laughing, the whole work thing stops. <laughs> Stop. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh again. Dick, <laughs> oh, down. Oh, my gosh. So have you heard any of Akhenaten's song, maybe her singles or solos? And yes. What did you think of it? Quite a lot, actually. Yeah. I'm still doing, <laughs> now we're doing the new, you know, music. And uh, I love her. I love her voice. I love her interpretation, um, her expression. And I have, and this is going to be interesting because I have my favorite moments of her voice that may never, you know, it might not make the record that she wants to make next for the world. My feeling is my, my purpose in working with her is always going to be to, uh, to let her know what I love about her voice and what I love about the performances and mm -hmm. the songs and music she's working on, now, aside of So I Loved You But I Lied, um, to be honest with her about that. That might not necessarily mean that's where she wants to go as an artist, but because I'm an artist, I have to respect that. So I have, you know, in a way, I have many, many years ahead of her where I say, look, I've, I've been down this road. I know why you love this song and why even though you love your vocal performance on this one, you mm -hmm. don't want to, it doesn't make the record for you. Right. Um, but if I feel like this is a part of her that the world really needs to see, I will actually sit down, I'm just telling you, this is like, you know, first time I've ever said this on camera, but I would say, Europe will love this record. Right. And here's why. And I'll have to point to something legitimate to say right. because of these following artists, right. this is what's going on over mm -hmm. there. And you're comfortable with this. I'll never try to talk her into do something she's not. That's not her. But she's multifaceted. There are different parts of her that, and that she expresses at different times. So it's good to have somebody like me like they're yeah. lurking in the background. Like, yeah. mm, what about that's that song? Why. That's, about that's, why. Song? that's why I said like he's always been really honest about you know everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, pretty, pretty much, yeah. Everything. And <clears throat> that's actually one of the biggest reasons why I, I respect him a lot. You know, not only as an artist, but also as a friend. You know, he, he's, he's really been really supportive. Which is easy for, easy for me because, you know, you, you, if you know her, you love her, you know. And, and, and that's why he's going to write me a song. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to back to the states and do some writing. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, next one is the last question. Can you just give me five words uh, descriptions about each other? Woo! Wow. Only five words? <laughs> wow. Can we do like? 
Um, South <laughs> Me? Sweet. <laughs> That's Newton, right? Um, uh, five words. Hmm. Okay, I got one. Perfectionist. Hmm. Mine for her. Okay, that's one for one. <laughs> uh, uh, it's there are a lot of superlatives, you know, uh, amazing, talented, um, committed. Ooh, um, big word. Yeah, because it ties in with that whole discipline thing. It doesn't just yeah. happen by itself. Um, good, a real good person. Aww. I feel like hugging you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's all, it's, that's what I meant by it. It's like, you know, it becomes a love fest when there's enough in common that kind of um, permeates the, the room, the area, you know, where you work. It's, it's just something you either enjoy somebody or you don't. When you, you really do enjoy somebody and they're a great artist, and you appreciate them as an artist as well. Um, it's only superlative, positive things that you know that you think. And, uh, do they? Do they? Has everyone seen the book? Your book? Oh, not yet. Oh, it's the most amazing book. Oh. see, I had that at the hotel. That was one of the things I went back with. Like, who am I speaking to? Who, who is this person I'm working with? And in that book, I I could probably open it up and go through it and find many descriptions for Agnes inside of her own book of what appeals to her and what's important to her, of excellence. Um, there's, there's so much in this area where the bar is set so high that, uh, you know, you just, uh, I, I don't want to sound um, um, overconfident in saying that, I, you know, it makes me, inspires me to want to help her reach that, that high level of achievement, humbly, inspires me. Aww. Inspiring. <laughs> I guess that's all the time we have for now. Thank you so much Pleasure. for your time. Thank you. Thank you. you. I, Thank hope, you. I, hope, I hope you relaxed. <laughs> I was quite relaxed. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, that they, they heard all our inside jokes. They did a good <laughs> job. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, I, you know, I, I, I got a couple of uh, either texts or emails or both about, like, success, and then um, I don't think I got, like, I didn't get what, the, in the old days we used to just get these pages of every single movement it's had, you know, mm -hmm. airplay and increases, what type right. of station, all that, so you, you might have to educate me about that. Okay. She's going to educate me, which is very cool. Well, well, now that I know that it's now in bestseller, that's what I know. Bestseller is a good place to be. Yep. I think all my fans are like <laughs> taking <laughs> that's pictures. Right, that's right. Like, that's right. Like, you have a gazillion fans. No. <laughs> <laughs> like they were like taking pictures. Like, hey, I got the new so Mark of Walton CD. Sending you pictures yeah. of the new CD. Yeah, that's so cool. Do you guys mind just seeing like a little part of the duet? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. What do you we, think? Did, we did this once before, didn't we? Yeah. I don't think we had a key then either. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, I'll pretend I'm, I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's always like this in the studio. I mean. <laughs> oh gosh, is that Olga or is that? Yeah, uh, it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah, Olga, it's right? Yeah, yeah, he's talking about Olga. So we did like a teleconference thing. Um, in the studio with with Olga with Dasha right? and, and Skype, then Skype. yeah yeah with yeah, yeah Skype and then so Olga always did that expression like Marco Walton. Well, I said I said are they gonna know who I am? I said, oh yeah, they're gonna really they're gonna appreciate this. And then we got onto the screen and he went oh. <laughs> like he was you know like I I felt like I was like an animal in a. I don't know, like, uh, <laughs> Aquarium swimming around. Or, <laughs> right. you know, it was very fun. They were great. They were, yeah. great. They were yeah. receptive. It was good, yeah. good indication. You were there, right, yesterday? From that shot? No? Hmm. Oh, okay. I thought. Anyways. <laughs>
Oh, we, yeah, no, we need to sing, right? What, 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 what um, mm. I said, I said, I left you. I That's said, good. I left you. Right. No. I just like hearing her sing. So. <laughs> okay, so. Said, I loved you, my life. Is that the key? Ballpark? I don't know. Yeah, that hard. Is this it more than love I feel inside? Say I loved you, but I was wrong. Cause love could never ever feel so strong. Say I loved you, but I lied. Yay! <laughs> I've read your harmony on that. I was thinking, should I change? But if I change, then you'll sing it. We haven't done that together yeah. for a while, so. Thank you. Happy editing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I can't wait till we perform together live. Yeah.